back, and your predator's not gonna save you. for kills. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills bringing you another division video and in today's video I'm going to be focusing on what I consider the best PvP and even PvE sniper in the game. Now remember this build is really squishy when you fight players close range but as you guys saw in the video you still can fight players when they get up on you. Now what this build really is good at is fighting players from range and dropping them in two shots. Now a lot of people thought with everybody running stamina, everybody having a lot more toughness, two shotting people in the division wasn't possible. But I just proved to you guys in this video that it is still possible to two shot people. Now I feel like this build is a little better for last stand, but you can even still use it in skirmish and in the dark zone. Remember guys, if you have any questions on this build, use the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up up. And as always, if this is the first time you're watching a video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and let me know you guys are a new subscriber. So let's get into the build. The first thing you're going to notice is my primary firepower is 303,000. That's firearms of 10,000. My toughness is 340,000. That's stamina of 2,900. My skill power is 124,000. That's electronics of 2,900. So if we get into the gear pieces, what Dead Eye 6 piece does is set 2 bonus gives you 40% initial bullet stability. Set bonus 3 gives you 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage. Set bonus for dead eye when zoomed marksman rifles lose headshot bonus but gain 50 percent critical hit chance when out of cover and 100 percent critical hit chance when in cover set bonus 5 40 percent initial bullet stability 20 percent marksman rifle critical hit damage so that's an additional 40 percent critical hit damage just for running a five piece set bonus and that's how i recommend running this gear set i feel the six piece is situational improved dead eye when zoomed getting headshot kills with marksman rifles will increase critical hit damage by 20 percent for every second to a maximum of 100 percent this will also increase the ability by 100%. This lasts for 10 seconds or until no longer zoomed. Now as you guys know when you guys are PvPing, the best way to snipe is to zoom in, snipe your target, then most likely you're going to zoom out and then zoom back in to snipe the next target. So this talent is really situational and that's why I feel like if you run a different six piece with this five piece set, it will benefit you a lot more. So for the chest, it's real firearms, it has health, enemy armor damage and ammo capacity. For the mods, I'm running firearm mods with health. For the mask, it's road firearms, it has skill power, and then damage to elites. And then the mods, I'm running firearm mods with health. For the knee pads, the road firearms, they have critical hit damage, and then the minor is disorient resistance, burn resistance, and bleed resistance. I really recommend you running critical hit damage on your knee pads and your backpack so that way you can put out as much critical hit damage as possible with this sniper build. For the mods, I'm running firearm mods with health, and then performance mods with pulse hit crit damage. For the holster, it has skill haste, I really recommend you changing that out for this build. You can put in health, but for me, I re-rolled stamina and electronics on this, so I'm not able to change this. But if you want to have anything else besides skill haste, I really recommend you putting on health just to have a little bit more toughness and stamina. For my gloves, they're rolled firearms. They have critical hit damage, marksman rifle damage, and a critical hit chance. Now for this build, you don't need to have any critical hit chance on your gloves. I just can't re-roll these at this time. The ideal roll for my gloves will be critical hit damage, marksman rifle damage, and the enemy armor damage. For the backpack, I chose to run a specialized backpack. 
It adds 200% of my firearms and stamina to my skill power. And I feel that running a five piece with the specialized backpack gives you that bigger heal and then also gives you a better pulse. It's rolled firearms, it has critical hit damage and then burn resistance. For the mods, fire mods with health and then of course performance mod with pulse crit hit damage. For the weapons, my main weapon is an M700 carbine. Base damage is 172,000. Headshot damage is 155%, which with the dead I build, you don't worry about. I'm running prepared. Damage is increased by 15% when more than 30 meters from the target. Deadly critical hit damage is increased by 15% and then competent. Weapon damage is increased by 10% for 15 seconds after using the skill. For the mods, I'm running a C79 scope. It has critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and optimal range. You really don't need to have any kind of critical hit chance on here. For the suppressor, I'm running critical hit damage, optimal range, and stability. For the small grip, I'm running critical hit damage, accuracy, stability. And then for the extended magazine, I'm running magazine size, critical hit damage, and rate of fire. The one key thing you're going to notice about this build on my weapon, I'm stacking as much critical hit damage as possible, and there is no reason to stack any kind of critical hit chance since Dead Eye gives you 100% critical hit chance when in cover. For my secondary, I'm running the house. It has 23% critical hit chance, 23,000 base damage. It has deadly critical hit damage is increased by 15%. It has responsive damage is increased by 10% when closer than 10 meters to the target. And then it has card counter. One half of the magazine does 20% increased damage. The half which deals increased damage flips after 15 seconds when the magazine is empty. For the mods, I'm running a pro red dot sight with 18% critical hit damage, 60% headshot damage, and 2.5 critical hit chance. A suppressor with 7.5 critical hit chance, 6% headshot damage, and 4% critical hit damage. A small grip with 19% critical hit damage, reload speed, and optimal range. And then an extended magazine with magazine size, critical hit chance, and rate of fire. If we go into the skills, I'm running a concealer that's going to give me 19% critical hit damage. I'm not really focused on the critical hit chance since I do get 100% critical hit chance when in cover with the dead eye build. For the heal, I'm running an overdose, which is going to heal me for around 100,000. Now, if I really want to go really squishy, I could switch to booster shot and that would only heal me for around 60,000. For the talents, since I'm usually running this in PvP and I'm in a group, I run triage, heal ally with a skill to reduce skill cooldowns by 15%, critical save, use med kits during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds, combat medic, use med kits near allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%, and then of course strike back, reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Now if we go into my character, you're going to see on my marksman rifle, my critical hit chance is 9%. That's because of the 6% on the gloves that you could reroll to enemy armor damage if you have that chance. And then of course, I have the scope that has 3% critical hit chance. Now with this build, I told you before, you don't need to stack any kind of critical hit chance just because of the fact that you're gonna be getting 100% critical hit chance when in cover, when you're scoped in with the marksman rifle. My critical hit damage is 175%, my accuracy is 2%, and my stability is 5%. My enemy armor damage is only 5.5%, and this can increase if I added that to my gloves. My skill haste is 7%, and like I told you before, instead of running 7% skill haste on my holster, I would rather have health there. My max health is 231,000, my toughness is 340,000, my armor mitigation isn't too bad, it's almost 33%. That pretty much wraps up my build, guys. If you guys have any questions on this build, let me know in the comment section down below. I really recommend you running a five piece versus a six piece. Now, if you don't have a specialized backpack, but you have a dead eye backpack, you could take off the specialized backpack, put a dead eye backpack, and then on the chest piece, you can run a barracks chest piece. There's different ways you can run this, guys. I just found that this is the best way for me to run it to get a bigger heal and a bigger pulse. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching the video, hit that subscribe button. I just want to say thank you guys again. Without you guys, nothing but skills wouldn't be here. This channel wouldn't be here. So I'm very grateful for all the support you guys are showing me. I'm going to get back to the game. And I just want to say, if you don't see me in the dark zone, if you don't see me in last stand, if you don't see me in skirmish, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out. Bravo's confirmed neutral. Multiplier has been activated by the opposite. Get him, get him, get him, get him! 
Cause you gave me. Behind you. I was trying, it wouldn't let me. Neutral. 